I saw you on video rapping the boot up. I guess something you know uh, is one of your favorite songs. Or... Uh, just familiar with the lyrics. <laughs> just uh, it's a good laugh. It's always you know don't take yourself too seriously. So I think the players enjoyed it, and uh, you know I can't sing a lick, but it's really not what karaoke is all about. So. Hopefully the guys got a good kick out of it, and uh, like I said, it's always good to put yourself out there. It's a good lesson for players. Don't take yourself too seriously. So, so we're not giving up our day job? No, I, I, I haven't got any phone calls yet, <laughs> uh, so I don't anticipate that happening. As a guy who's been through this from the player's side, just how important in the slog of fall camp is it to maybe have those moments where it just everything's a little bit looser, a little bit, you know, yeah. you just blow a whole steam. Yeah, it's great. You know, uh, we ask a lot of our players, and it's always good to laugh. You know, coaches and players included, and uh, it's good to be vulnerable in front of other you know guys on your team and and be made fun of. I mean, that's that's what family's all about. You know? So I know me, my brothers and I, my dad and mom and Sam, my wife, we crack jokes all the time and laugh and enjoy each other's company. So I always think that's good to, to be able to do that, especially right now you're in the thick of camp where it's hard. You know, that's what football is all about. So it's good to have a little bit of a uh, a lighter moment or two. What's been uh, Peyton been showing you so far in camp? Just the maturity. His body's developed. He's bigger, stronger. Um, he's just more mature. You know, he's, he's uh, understanding the day-to-day -day grind of being a Big Ten football player, and so I've been pleased with that. He's been talking about, you know, hoping to get, you know, more targets, more opportunities to catch the ball downfield. Something that kind of you have to earn, or how do you think he's? Yeah, I, do, I mean, that? quarterbacks, you know, they're, they're not, they don't have any biases. They throw to the guys that get open regularly, and. There's plenty of opportunities for all five eligible receivers on every down to get the ball. So you got to do your job to know your assignment, run the right route, and, and create separation so the quarterbacks feel comfortable to throw it to you. So um, those opportunities are there for everybody. And ultimately, when you get those chances, you got to take advantage of them. As you kind of broke down in the offseason, what he did last year as a redshirt freshman, what did you feel like kind of you could mark down as his strengths? And, and maybe what are the what were the areas you were kind of underlining in terms of saying this is where he can get better, this is where we can yeah. really push him forward? I don't think – I mentioned this at the beginning of training camp. You know, there are no physical limitations for Peyton. He's big and strong. He can run. He can catch. I think uh, a strength of his would just be toughness and competitiveness. You know, he didn't shy away from anything uh, his first go around in the Big Ten. And then, you know, things to develop and get better at was more uh, preparation, how you take care of your body, how you take care of your mind so that you can be at your best, you know, on Saturdays every fall. So I think that maturity has started to set in. He understands the importance of having his body feel fresh, his mind feel fresh. And he's taking the next step to try to prepare uh, in a more mature and a better way. Do you think he's also kind of getting, I know he's only a richer sophomore, but a, a mentality where he sets the tone for that group, and I know he's obviously that's not something you want only one guy to do, but do you sure. think he's maybe embraced trying to be the guy that, that leads everybody yeah. else? I think he's improved at that. I don't think, I don't know if in his mind he ever saw himself as someone that has a lot of influence, even though he does. Um, you know, the guy in our room that has, since I've, I've been in the room, that's really tried to set the tone from an effort and toughness standpoint has been Matt Bjorson. And I think Peyton realizes the impact that he can have and that he has elevated his leadership and his influence on the group and on the team. So um, I think he's starting to understand that, you know, leadership's best coupled by performance. And if you're a good player, you have an opportunity to lead. And I think he's taking advantage of some of those opportunities. We're talking to Kalen the board. He's obviously looking to add, use the tight ends a lot more in this offense. What can your group do to add and what can they uh, improve the offense? Well, I think just versatility, you know, the tight end position across the country is a versatile position. You can, you know, run at routes from detached sets. You can be in the core and block. You know, it just adds a lot of versatility to your offense. And, you know, we're, we're practice nine or 10 or is that what we're on? 11, you know, whatever day we're on. Um, so we're right in the middle of it. You know, roles are, have not been defined yet. Guys are working every day. Coach DeBoer and the staff are still learning what each guy does and, and really how we can get the best 11 on the field at one time, depending on the, the team we're playing to, to give ourselves the best shot to, to win. So that's the great thing about Coach DeBoer. He's been a coordinator for many, many years, has had lots of different types of players. And so he has knowledge at all different personnel groupings, formations, schemes, you name it. And uh, it's been great. And it's been a challenge for the players to uh, learn that and see how they're going to fit when we get into the fall. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Yep, you got it. See you, boys.